Have you ever experienced stuff like slow Wi-Fi, a weak Wi-Fi connection, or just delaying your Wi-Fi so much that you could not get anything done? I'm Paul from Mickey Tech Tips, and today we're going to be talking about my home Wi-Fi upgrade. And let's get started. Cause virtual is where we live, live, live. Cause virtual is where we live, live, live. Cause virtual is where we live, live, live. Okay, so the reason why I am doing this video is because I've been having Wi Fi problems for about the past six months or so, and I've not had the chance to change it out. So, some of the problems I've been having is stuff like slow response time on web pages and stuff, which is different from your speed. Um, slow speed test results, dropped Wi-Fi, and other things like that. And so today I am going to be covering what I have been using since like 2011, what I'm switching over to, and what my plans for the future is on this Wi-Fi network. So let's begin with the networking gear. Okay, so I have been using a Cisco E2500 which that is what I've been using since 2011 and it's worked out pretty well I have used to use the Ethernet on it but then stopped and went completely wireless and I think that's the problem is that it can't keep up with this increased workload because I'm going to be switching over to a Netgear WNR 2000 V3 2013 and that does not say 200 it's meant to say 2000 and the reason why I'm going to a 2013 router instead of like a new 2014 or 2015 router is because this one was only used for about six months. It was given to me by a family member that did not need it anymore because they got a phone data plan. And I've had this thing for about a year or so and I just haven't thrown it in the network yet to test it out. And if I have problems I can always go back to the old router because I still know it works. So the current setup with it is that I have it hooked up to my ISP's cable modem, which if you don't know what an ISP is, it's an internet service provider which they provide your internet, like mine is Cox Cable. So it's people like that. And I've been using a Motorola softboard modem, and I'm going to be covering the problems with that too, just because there have been some upgrades to the Cox Cable internet network. Um, so let's get back to what I was talking about with the rattle. So the problem with it was they was dropping stuff like my Chromecast, timing out on my cell phone, which means that it was trying to receive stuff from like Facebook or whatnot, and then it would just quit. And I wasn't the only one that experienced that problem too. And then the speed was not consistent. And that can be seen in the speed test that I've been doing on my cell phone. But if we look at it, um, the average ping which is your server response time so there's a delay on internet like right now it is a 66 millisecond delay that ain't a big deal but as that starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger it's taking longer time to send data back and forth and the longer it takes the more time you have to wait even if you have a fast internet connection so like right now I have a 6.36, I'm rounding this up, megabit per second upload speed, which is faster than the advertised one of my plane, which is about 5 megabits per second. But the main problem was, was this download speed was about a 9.73 megabits per second, which the reason why I'm saying megabits, because when you measure speeds in megabytes, you say megabits. Again, that is megabits. And so let's get back to what we're going to be doing with the new setup. So the goals are that we connect the Netgear router to the cable modem. And the cable modem is going to be there for a while, right now for at least. Then we're going to copy the Wi-Fi settings to the current router. And then we're going to connect the old Linksys router to the Netgear and put it in a bridge mode for a fallback router in case the Netgear wireless fails or it might be busy and then I've done that already and so I've seen some performance upgrades like a 42.25 
ping, which that is quicker than the old one. I've seen a faster upload speed with about a 7.4 megabit per second upload, which still ain't bad. And then the download speed in increased by about twice as much, which is about a 20.78 megabit per second download speed, which is great because that is what I wanted. And it has worked out great so far. I've been using it for about a week. Okay, that is all speeds on megabits per second. I forgot to put that there. And let's see. And here's the Wi-Fi Analyzer app that you can get on Google Play for free, which shows you the Wi-Fi channels that broadcast on. And the reason why this is helpful is because you have channels on a TV, like one through maybe about a hundred. And they send out different pit, not different pictures, but anyway, different videos, and you can watch them. That's the same thing with this Wi-Fi. Each channel sends out different frequencies of stuff on these channels, and if you have them all filled up with like five different Wi-Fi's, they're going to be f fighting for that space to send out stuff on that channel. And before on this red one which is the old Linksys one it was only going from channel I guess it is a zero I honestly don't know to three the new Netgear one picks up from one to five and this is on a 2.5 gigahertz range which is a slower internet speed to an extent but it's longer range and I have a five gigahertz one which I'll cover what I've been having problems with that is for and why I've been having problems with it in a minute but that is not that bad and considering the neighbor's Wi-Fi only overlaps it a little bit and that's very weak Wi-Fi anyway that's fairly decent and did the setup work yes for the most part now as I was saying I did have some problems my old router when I put it in bridge mode which is like a oh send out Wi-Fi through this but follow all the commands that the other one does it worked out for the most part until I got another Wi-Fi popping up that was open that I could not change because I have to reset it and then change it and then put it back in bridge mode that's the only thing that sucks about it because you can't access the web site to change it and also don't use Windows to configure your router anymore because then it turns off the 5 gigahertz band and you can't use it and that 5 gigahertz band includes faster speeds, which I recommend having on for your new devices. Because not all devices have picked up 5 gigahertz yet, but if it's been made in the past few years or so, it probably has. So, for the most part, it works. It's unplugged right now, the old router, just because of that issue. I need to put a password on that 5 gigahertz network, and it should be tied in like it was before. I'm going to have to figure that out. So, I learned my lesson. Don't use Windows to configure a router because I did reset that one before I set it up in the bridge mode. Which, by the way, you should not use that Windows configuration utility anyway because of some privacy issues with Windows 10. So, yeah. The plans for the future. That's a good one. So, I basically want to go to a. I think you pronounce it DUSIS 3 cable modem which right now I got a DOSIS 2 cable modem in the future the reason why I want to do this is because Cox claims that I can get faster speeds about twice as much speed with this type of modem so I'm gonna be doing that but I'm gonna look online because you can buy these separately where you don't have to get ripped off from the cable company because they want like I forget how much but it was a rip off so I'm gonna be watching for that and then I'll switch it out within the next year or so. Then the last thing I want to do is maybe upgrade to a wireless AC router, which is about one gigabit per second speeds and all that good stuff. But honestly, I don't see any benefit to it unless I put a network storage device on there, which I still don't know if I want to do that because I kind of need that. So at the moment, I'm not going to do that. But if the time comes around that I need it for storage, maybe then I'll do it because right now that wireless in router is fine because there are 
different wireless frequencies that have different letters like B, G, and N, which they all begin with the number 802.11. Oh, and there's also AC is the other um, letter, which I don't know why they gave it two letters for it. But anyway, right now the setup does work for the most part. Um, tips and tricks that you need to realize when you do this. Rattles only last for so long, and the reason why I know this is because I have an old Linksys WRT, I think it's a 54G, which is an old popular router that they used to use back in 2003, 2004 and stuff. I think mine was built like 2005, 2006. I'm looking at it right now because it's sitting like right behind me on a shelf, and that is what I used before this Linksys one one that I've been using and like the problem with these older rattles as I was saying though is that over time they do degrade because they've been used so much and so you have to constantly reset them and stuff and that's what happened with that old Linksys one with the WRT 54G which is that old one that I was talking about that's sitting on my shelf I kept constantly having to reset it so it's one of those things that over time you got to change it out because stuff does get faster and stuff degrades over time just from continuous use. So it's one of those things you got to remember you probably want to buy a new router every couple of years or so if you've been having problems. And yeah, there's that. And also make sure you place the router in a good place in your house like right now. I probably should put it in the sun on the, of my house, but instead it's on a bookshelf in my living room, which is on the other side of the house, but it's up high so then it can send the Wi-Fi out and not get blocked, because it was sitting on a desk covered up by stuff, and that was another problem I ran into, and I saw some better performance with setting it up high. So, so it did work. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I am partnered with Full Screen YouTube Partner Network now, so I'm going to be looking at some f new ways to grow the channel and make videos better. I hope you like this video. Um, I'll see you next time. And I'm sorry I did not have a video up in a little while. And thank you. Have a nice day. Cause virtual is where we live, live, live. Cause virtual is where we live, live, live. Cause virtual is where we live, live.